Hi everybody, my name is Rosemary, founder of TechAble Assistive Technology. In today's video, I'd like to introduce various alternative mouse devices. Okay, let's get started. For some people, it's hard for them to use a standard mouse because they are having a hard time clicking a mouse button without moving a pointer. So after they move their move the pointer to the target icon, when they try to double click and open it or you know click to close some program, they are having a hard time keeping this pointer still while they're trying to click this button. So to those individuals, I often recommend to use this alternative mice called Kensington Expert Mouse. This Kensington Expert Mouse allows a user to separate the activities between moving the pointer to the target and then clicking the mouse buttons. So they move the pointer to the target icon by moving this using different part of their hand. And then once they move the icon, move the pointer to the icon, then they can click the mouse button using different part of their hand. So because the size of the button is pretty big, they can use not only their fingers, but side of their hand. Some people use knuckles to open program and click mouse button. Um, the four buttons on this mouse can be programmed to perform different actions. So let me open this Kensington Expert Mouse software. And as you can see here, each button can be programmed to do different actions. So this button will do left click. And then if I click here, it can be programmed to do not only the mouse click action, but it can be programmed to do all these different actions like it can do some editings and then different desktop action. So for now, I'll just leave it as right click. And then this button will do double click. And then this button will do the same action as holding the left mouse button, click the left mouse button and hold it. So let me show you what that means. So if I want to open this document, I usually do double click of the left mouse button, but this button is programmed to do double click. So I'll just click that button. Then it open up a program. And if I want to move the recycle bin to different place, I usually do left mouse click and hold it and then move it to the target area and then let go. But for some people, it's hard for them to do click and hold the mouse button. So this mouse is programmed to do that. So I move my mouse pointer to the target and then 
click this button and now it's doing same thing as click the left mouse button and hold it so all i need to do is move it to the target area that i like to move and then just do another left click to let it go um let me show you one more time so i'm going to move this pc icon to here then first i need to move my pointer to this icon and then click this click and hold button and then let go and there are various types of trackballs available in the market with different size and different location of the ball and the buttons. For individuals with very limited hand and arm movements, um, there are mini trackball or pointing devices which can be controlled with only finger movements or very limited um, hand movement. So this one it's mini trackball and then as, as you can see the pointer can be controlled with just small thumb movement and then um, click button it's these and also there is click button down here. And the other one that I have here is finger mouse. So let me turn it on. And then um, this one also, the pointer can be controlled with very small range of hand movement. And then left and right mouse button is these and then scroll. So can be moved and right click left click so the this is called finger mouse however my clients didn't have much success with um, these type of alternative mice um, they actually had more success with using a touchpad So touchpad like one on laptop computer or you can also purchase various kind of um, external touchpad. Um, I have one here, mini touchpad. Um, this one actually has touchpad and mini keyboard in one device. So I'm going to turn it on. So with this, also um, pointer can be controlled with little finger movement and then left click and right click and also like other touchpad, I can just tap on the screen. Touchpad also allows the user to separate the activities between moving the mouse cursor and clicking the mouse buttons. But for some people, it's not easy for them to hold down a mouse button and move a mouse to drag or highlight something on the screen. So if I want to move this icon to here, then I usually um, hold down this left mouse button 
and then move with the other finger to move the cursor and let go. But it's not easy for everybody to do that action. So in that case, I turn on the feature called click lock. Um, this click lock feature will enable a user to highlight or drag without holding down the mouse button. And it's a um, built-in operating system um, feature that's available both on Windows and Mac operating system. Um, in Windows, to turn on this feature, I need to go to Start, and then go to Settings, and Open Devices, and on the Side menu, click Mouse, and then I have to open Additional Mouse Options. And in here, Click Lock feature is this one. So just check this box to turn the Click Lock feature on. And then I'm going to do Apply. So this feature is similar to the one that I programmed um, when I show the Kensington Expert Mouse. So the click and hold mouse button, um, it's similar, it's same as this feature. So I'm gonna click OK. And then with this feature on, um, in order for me to move this icon to here, I just need to bring the pointer to the target icon and then click this left, left mouse button for a little longer and then let go. So now that click lock feature is on. So I can move this without holding any mouse button. And then once I reach the target area, then I just click to let the icon go. So that's how the click lock feature works. There are also vertical mice, which is often recommended to on individuals with carpal tunnel syndrome. Um, the vertical mouse will help these users to place their hand in a more comfortable position than the standard mouse. Because with the standard mouse, um, the hand is positioned so the palm is facing down and the wrist area is touching the surface. But with the vertical mouse, you place your hand more um, vertical way. So side of your hand is touching the surface. And vertical mouse comes with different sizes. Um, I have small hands, so for me, um, the one with smaller in size is much comfortable to use, to control and to click. And this brand comes with also the vertical mouse for a left hand handed user. So when you order, you can order one for right hand or also they have one for left handed user. For people with very limited or no upper extremity function means very limited or no use of arms and hands. Um, head control mouse or um, eye control mouse can be tried. Um, these alternative mice allow a user to control a cursor through simple head or eye movements. Um, so this one is a head control mouse. It has a camera in the middle 
and a reflective dot can be placed on the fore forehead of the person or on glasses or hat so the camera can see the reflective dot and with the movement of this reflective dot controlled by the head of a person, um, it can um, control the movement of um, mouse cursor. And also the eye control mouse has camera in the middle and this camera will see the user's eye movement and that eye movement can control the mouse cursor. Um, and a mouse clicks can be accomplished through either um, using external switches or mouse click software. And text input can be made through an on-screen keyboard, which I've introduced on my previous video. Um, I'm going to show how to use these kind of uh, uh, alternative mice and with um, use of mouse click software program on my next video. Um, this um, Toby Eye Tracker 5 is just released um, recently and it only works on Windows operating system. And this head mouse, it, it can be used on both Windows operating system and Mac operating system. Um, currently, this Eye Tracker 5 had some issues with using uh, with Windows eye control function. So um, they're working on fixing this issue and hopefully can be fixed um, soon. Okay, so I've included all the links to the alternative mice which I've presented today under the notes section of this video. So if you'd like to know more about the presented alternative mice, then you can find more information from the links um, which I've provided. That's all I have for today. Thank you for watching.